Hello everybody, this is Sadaktik back with you with Paracrew and today I'm going to show you how to compress JPEG images using Google's Gesly JPEG encoder. Now, you may have seen Gesly being released about a month ago. It is a tool that Google developed to reduce the size of JPEG images with, uh, while retaining maximum quality. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to use it so you can either build it as you can find in the uh, GitHub project but also you can download some release binaries which uh, Google has released over here. So I'm here at the release page and I'm going to save the Gesly Windows uh, binary. Let me save it into this folder. And to make things easier, I will just rename the executable to gesly.exe. And I will save it. Now let me go over to my desktop where I have this Gesly folder. I will open it up. And as you can see, I have a JPEG over here, random that I found on my computer. And we're going to compress it. So to use Gesly more easily, just place Gesly.exe and the image that you intend to compress in a folder. And hold down shift on your keyboard while you hit the right click. And then select open command window here. Now the command prompt will open up and you want to type in this command. Gesly followed by qual the quality flag, followed by the verbose flag, followed by the... Uh, in the directory of the image that you are that you want to compress followed by the output name of the file that you want to get so here I have qu the quality flag set to 100 which means that the output will retain as much quality as it can the verbose flag is just to show some information on the screen while the compression is done the original .jpeg is the file I have over here and the output JPEG will be the JPEG that will be compressed now let's hit enter and wait for this process to complete. Now, keep in mind that for about every one megapixel of an image that you put into Getsly, that will take about one minute to compress. So now the process has finished and in our folder we have the output.jpg, which as you can see is slightly smaller than the original, which probably means that my original image was pretty well compressed. Now you may now on different images you might see even a bigger difference. Also keep in mind that with Getsly you can also compress PNG files to JPEGs. But before we finish this video, let's take a look at our compression results. So let me open up the original.jpg, have it on this side of the screen, and also open up the output.jpg. And let me zoom in so you guys can see as much as possible detail on what is going on here. I personally cannot spot any difference in quality between these two images, though this may be because I used the maximum quality flag, which in the command that we sent to Getsly is the quality 100. You can find the Getsly binary download link in the description below. And uh, well, that was pretty much it. Hope you liked the video guys, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.